Hello, my fellow intentionally stained name brand shoes. I'm Mr. Church. Have you ever wanted to build a tiny moonshiner shack on top of a mountain that no one's gonna visit because it's on top of a mountain? You can get away from it all. You can get away from everything. You can escape reality by playing a video game and then escape the reality of that video game by building a little shack here on the mountain so that you can pretend that you're in an even more alternate reality. This is all about layers. We're creating layers here by starting with this foundation. Let's put a foundation down. And uh, that's because we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we're gonna build the house on that foundation. You know what I mean? Um, Cause we wanna put walls on it. So first we put a foundation, but we're gonna be putting some, a porch out, out the back. And then there's probably gonna be a porch on the front. But I'm always going to make sure that the foundations are not floating in the air because that would cause pain to some viewers, including myself if I were to ever look back and watch my own video, which sometimes I have to do um, to edit and uh, what whatnot. Um, but it's, it's okay. I take some Epic Hack, which I imagine you don't need if you were to watch the video yourself. I don't need help vomiting, but it's better if you, you know, it comes out cleaner if you also take something along with it. Now, here we have a little area, and this is a moonshiner's shack, so we're not going to be cooking our moonshine in the shack, because then we'll be caught and we'll be transported by the federal marshal marshals that roam the land trying to make you do a stupid quest that gives you a bunch of garbage that makes you overweight and unable to fast travel so we're going to be placing this down which will allow us to snap a floor over top of it and this hatch is going to be in the corner of the shack that'll get us down to where we're going to be actually making our moonshine now you're going to have to fiddle around with this and uh, I'm not going to make a joke about fiddling because not only have I done that before, it was immature last time and I'm a, I'm a new me, you know, more responsible, more respectable, and definitely I'm not going to be making any type of inappropriate jokes from now on because one person in the comments section one time said, please, no, he didn't say please, he commanded me to never do that again, so I won't because he actually owns my free will and my ability to make choices. Now, obviously, you can't put this bed over top of that hatch um, because why would you be able to do something like that? So what we're going to do is we're going to line it up on this foundation. Imagine that the hatch is on that floor. And I'm not just being stupid. That is what we're going to do. Um, we're going to put a sleeping bag here, and you'll see that it actually kind of sticks up way too much, like some of the carpets do, so it looks like it's floating slightly and has no weight. Now, not only do our voices in the community have no weight, but this sleeping bag doesn't, and that's something that we can fix with this pressure plate, and it's not something we can fix with a pressure plate in the other aspects, unfortunately, but it's worth trying. Now... Try to move this a little bit into the corner and line it up where you would imagine it would go over top of that hatch. And then what we're going to do um, once we've done that, and, and take your time with it because you won't be able to adjust it once it's over top of that hatch. Uh, move this pressure plate and we're going to move uh, first, well, let's burn this bed. And I don't really think that there's um, any point in the like getting into the bed first um because you know um we, then we would get catch on fire so don't do that i mean but if you want to invite one of your friends to get into the bed first then i would do that now we can place this here it'll snap over top of that and while the bed is broken this is a great time to add anything you would want to put under the bed like a sleeping bag that's not what i meant to say but uh, that is what I meant to say. Yeah, a rolled up sleeping bag. We have those and a suitcase Let's put a suitcase there Which is actually what I meant to say and because you know how suitcases and sleeping bags are the same They are very easy to confuse now. We can place this foundation back and when we place um, This here and we can place walls along the edge 
how this will be kind of basically how we're going to do it. So if once you put this, uh, once I put this in, I could see that it was going to be blending in with the wall there. See, it's kind of, it's, it's too close to the wall. Um, so you can actually just put the wall on the foundation when you first do it to test it before burning it and moving it over there so that you don't have to do it again like I'm about to do. I've just done it again and edited it out. And if you want to say edit it very quickly, it's a very fun. We're going to put some old drapes in the windows. And um, the idea for this shack here is it's like a, it was like a garbagey shack before the war. And then someone came along afterwards. So we're going to have lots of places that are boarded up and lots of places that are inaccessible. And there's going to be a lot of garbage laying around. It's going to be beautiful. Um, but we're going to use this junk fence, maybe. Let's test it. Um, well, I want to see if I can get this to have like the little, um, uh, ab, 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 what is that? What is that called? A, a pallet? Yeah, those are called pallets. Thank you so much. Uh, luckily, I was able to think of what that word was within like 45 seconds. And that's not too bad. Um, new record maybe even. So uh, what you would do is you'd place one of these junk fences down and of course burn it like we... You know, that's how we deal with all of our problems here. Just place it down, and then you can hit the trigger button, um, which is exactly what seems to happen when I try to solve my problems in real life as well, is, you know, the triggering happens still, and there's no resolution. There we have a little wall, meshy combo thing, and that's really neat, um, but, you know... If you want to place stuff in the corner there, you want to burn this, and it's 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 there. It's just you can't see it because it popped the stealth board. Don't worry about that. It's fine. Um, there's no bugs in this game. They were fixed. Um, so just take a deep breath. Again, we can use this curtain door as the curtain for the window. You just replace that to a window after you put that in the doorway, and that's a pretty easy and quick way to throw that in. And uh, it adds a really nice effect, especially from the outside. It looks really good with this look. In fact, I think I'm going to put the junk wall there. And I'm going to move and put... Yeah, I'm going to put the curtain win window in the front. So when you come and look at the front of the house, you see that there. So um, I'm just going to make this into a doorway. Put the, the um, curtain in there and fall off the porch using the dexterity of many trolls. And then we can switch that back to a window and you have that very nice look. And it's subtle, but you can see the curtain from there looking good. Uh, I couldn't put the junk stairs I wanted because I was too close to these rocks. But if you move it this way a little bit, you'll be able to put those in, of course, no problem. Now here you can put um, two doors in the doorway if you wanted for some reason. Now you can't place a door in a doorway if there's no foundation in front of it, but you can put two doors in the same doorway. So that's good. That's a, I think that's a really good um, balance, you know, of thinking about like the things that should be in the game and the things that shouldn't be and making sure we have that. Let's go over here and put the uh, um, little railing things so that people don't fall to their deaths off the edge of the cliff. Not that that would necessarily be such a bad ending for them after visiting my shack, but you know, it, it's not really the desirable approach and there's many other ways to have that occur. Now, I'm just gonna use this one on this side. I don't wanna use the pallet because it's sticking out and so it wouldn't really have anything logically to be sitting on. It would be floating next to the foundation. So I'm using this thinner one so just the boards will stick out when it's repaired. And uh, that should be a really nice effect. I looked to see what it would look like with a plain wall, and it just wasn't enough texture, so I moved it back to the window. And, of course, we'll have those boards there. Now, up on the top here, we're going to be doing something a little goofy, and we're going to be putting double roofs in so that we can have a nice wooden rafter on the inside. Now, I'm just going to put this these on here. And I'm putting these ones on first, 
which will also create a little bit of detail on the roof once we um, get it built. Um, but you'll see what I mean in a second. Now, after I've burned those, you're going to take a flat. And it doesn't matter which flat you use, because you're going to be replacing it anyway. But I'm using the haunted house roof. And that's going to be the actual roof. But you're going to want to make sure it's facing the wrong way so that when you replace it, it pops up the correct way, like that. Um, and then you can just snap that along, flip it the way it needs to go. Now, this area can be used in most builds to place... I'm just going to pick that up, go outside, and repair this stuff. Um, but anyway, this can be used to place a generator in if you want to hide it in there. But this this build isn't going to have any hidden generators. It's very scrappy and rubbish. Now we have these nice rafters in here. And then up here we have slightly sunken roofs compared to, um, you know, what else. So what we're going to do is we need to place um, top arches in which you should have done first before you did this and you really messed up. So if you're following along this tutorial, put the raft, the side arches in first um, so that you don't have to cry and weep hysterically. Now, sometimes you can still cry and weep hysterically, like if you're trying to do some of the new events and you complete it and you don't get any rewards. Or, you know, some of the not new events, like, I don't know, the Scorch Beast Queen, which is, uh, the, you know, just the boss game, uh, the boss event in the game. Um, besides, like, that's not really something to worry about. I'm sure they're right on top of it and they'll get it fixed within the next year. Because um, they did just fix, um, what was it? The uh, ammo glitch bug. So they're, you know, they're really, you know, on top of these like as soon as a glitch happens they're there that's going to be fixed within at least the decade of when it first was in the game so um that's really good and uh i'm just you know hopefully soon the fast travel glitch will be added to the backlog um you know because i'm sure it might have come up in a couple of meetings by now i don't know that's just a, a guess a theory um but let's not worry about who's not fast traveling to what event before it times out. Um, we're going to put a bramble here and kind of cover up any ugly problems the same way we might do that by um, introducing um, a lot of pep and ceremony in a scoreboard without addressing problem game breaking bugs. Let's go over on the side here and we're going to build a little thingy mapu which is called a clothesline i believe and that's like a it's well it's a line that you would hang clothes on right and i have seen this done a couple of times before with using these power pylons as a clothesline and i thought it was a really neat idea um and uh, so what I'm going to do, I've actually, I think the last time I saw it was in a stream, and I, I'm trying to remember whose stream, and it's killing me that I can. And if you know, and if you are a Twitch viewer, and you saw someone do that, let me know who that was, because um, I feel bad not saying who. But anyway, I saw it, and it was a cool idea, and I thought maybe there could be a way to add something to the clothesline. Um, so... I'm going to try this uh, porchy thing. That's not a porch. Why did I say the name? The word. I, speaking. Words. <laughs> not working. What we're going to do is take this doorway, snap it here. And uh, we're going to move this in a little bit. And you're going to just kind of measure with this. Any doorway. It doesn't matter which one you use. Um, and we're going to try to get this uh, curtain door to line up with that door. And so we're just going to move this over this way. And once you get it lined up, you know, side to side, it's just a matter of, you know, up and down, left and right. Just all the other angles that there are. 
so that's not a big deal. I don't think we need to worry about that. You might need to get the wire out of the way uh, for this. You'll want the wire there when you first line up, but um, and you're also going to need to change the wall from a doorway to a normal wall to be able to delete it, and that'll leave the curtain free floating. And then you're going to want to burn that curtain so that once I find, I just scrolled past my burning thing and then I still couldn't find it. So then I went, I gave up and went over to turrets and traps and got it from that menu. And that was a really a fun adventure. And I'm glad I left that in the video because that was really important for you to see. You're welcome. Let's burn that and probably anything else within the vicinity that could have been touched for a millisecond by the flames. And let's pop that along here. Hello? Snap on. Thank you. And then uh, when you repair that, see, oh, that's not really how I want it. So we're actually going to uh, move it just another hair this way. Um, but you're going to do this and just line it up. It's actually not that bad to do. Um, it, it didn't take, like, as far as, like, things that you eyeball and that make you want to pull your teeth out, this one wasn't that bad. Um, and I just, you know snap it in I didn't even like speed it up so it must not have been that bad you know cuz then uh, so one time I sped the video up I apologize you know uh, it was a mistake uh, I didn't think people would want to watch all this um, and you know it was a little too quick and people were sending me you know were giving me comments and, and, and sending me messages and saying that they had vomited all over their great-grandmother's antique rug and i said well i am i'm sorry i can slow things down if you really want to watch a longer video so if this is getting boring and terrible for you rather than blame me the person who's making the boring and terrible content uh, i'd like you to blame someone else so i gave you a list of names i didn't actually do that but i could um except i really just made that whole story up so that i could feel better about myself now um, we came around this side. I put this into the we're walking too fast. I'll show you later and But yeah, I think it looks great um, And this place is pretty safe. There's not really I mean there are there's some wildlife in the area But they're mostly gonna be like squirrels rabbits and other small game um, It's just a little moonshining shack But I, I went down into that shelter and we're just gonna make a one and a half uh, by two um, two, uh, foundation area out of upper f floors that are the farmable tiles, and I'm going to, uh, completely encase it and block it off from the rest of the shelter. So what we're doing here, and I don't really do shelter builds a lot on the channel, um, and I have, I have reasons for that that I'm not going to get into right now, um, but I've done a couple. Um, but we're just going to be using this little tiny area in the shelter as like a, it's like a root cellar that's been converted into a moon shining area. So, um, you can do, like, you don't need to use the entire shelter if you, if in a smaller amount of space will tell your story better. So if you think about the upstairs, it's a little piece of crap shack. And then there's a little hatch under the bed that you would, like, probably push the bed out from under. You know, that's just to kind of hide where you went down there. So you push the bed out from under, you know, out of the way. You go down in the shack and there's just, or go down into the uh, hatch. And there's just, like, this little basement area. And it's all gloomy and dark and there's dirt on the floor. And there's old wood paneling walls and there's old nasty dirty brick and uh that's just where you make your moonshine and you don't need to worry about it you can store that stuff down there and i'm sure that there's ventilation before you get on my ass about that we dug a little hole you know to get that out of there and um this is going to just be a tiny little place um, but as you can see, you can like kind of just free place these and then snap the rest to that. And we're going to cover up that area as well. But that's just to give you a basic idea of it. Now I boarded off the front door and this is important because 
this is meant to look like it's kind of been, you know, abandoned and someone else came and is hiding in the abandoned shack. And that's where you would want to do moonshining because people wouldn't look for you. So there's a staircase made out of garbage crates up the side here, which is um, the actual way that you get in and out. And of course we have this beautiful view out the back, which is probably the best thing about this build is the location and where it is. Like the back porch is phenomenal views of the unrendered landscape in the distance. And you can just see everything. You can see Grafton Steel down there and that muddy coppery water that tastes like chocolate. And Augustus, my boy, watch out. Now inside here is, of course, just a little... It's just a little shack, you know? It's not meant to look like a home. It's meant to look like someone is kind of stays here now and then. And so we have a radio, which is probably the main source of entertainment, uh, you know, after the other thing. In this back corner, by the boarded up door, there's stuff shoved in front of it to indicate that it's been a while that, that it's been boarded up. And uh, the little cooking station. But we have down here an instant load screen because of the power of editing. Uh, the moon shining area. Now, I just put a light bulb up and then turned it off. So that is because there's already like a dim glow from outside of the walls that we have here. But I just did what I was doing is just, you know, cover up the all the holes with stuff. We've got some jars of shit on the shelves. A uh, sleeping bag on these coffins. I wouldn't, like, think about that too much. Don't worry about it. Um, and uh, it's just like this really rough, scrappy, scruffy dirty vibe that we've got going down here because I, I wanted it to feel like a root cellar and that means just using a tiny bit of this and I left a tiny tiny piece of the of the door available so that if we want to get out we can use that but it's got like this really musty dirty feel and I wanted to keep it I wanted it to have as small a footprint or smaller than the shack above it because it's a it's a basement so that makes more sense and you can just access the little corner there to get out of there and then upstairs again we have this little nice little shack here that's really cozy and also in many ways a fire hazard this is the fermenter unfortunately you can't put these in the shelter because anything that has value and you and usability can be put down there uh, so that's that bites but this spotlight, don't turn it on. Just trust me on that one. You'll thank me later. And um, that pretty much sums it up. Now, I had a really fun time making this shack. It's very basic and small. But I spent a lot of de like a time thinking about the details of it. Like the way you get in is guided by the way things are locked. And it kind of directs you around the building. So you can kind of look at it and... Um, I was also, like, thinking about some of the houses that are in Fallout 4, and, uh, even in Fallout 76, but they would, like, kind of have be a maze of rubble, and you had to, like, find the way in that was, that the survivors had come up with. But I had a lot of fun making it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're not already subscribed, consider subscribing. It really helps the channel out. Um, big shout out to my channel members and patrons. You guys are awesome and I really s appreciate your support. Uh, follow me on Twitch where I stream. Join my Discord where, where uh, that's an easier way to get in touch with me if you ever want to do that. Um, and I will see you guys in the next video. <laughs> okay, I'll just cut that part out.